This group of criminals have single-handedly transformed the criminal underworld of Los Angeles and is the largest and deadliest street gang to emerge from the nation's hub. The 18th Street Gang is 20 times bigger than the normal gang in the area, with as many as 20,000 members in Southern California alone. Want to know more about the inner workings of the gang? Keep watching. First up, what are the origins of 18th Street? The Rampart District in Los Angeles, California around the beginning of the 1960s is where the 18th Street Gang first emerged. The district where the Santa Monica and Harbor Freeway converge around 18th Street and Union Avenue, commonly known as Pico Union, is where the gang was specifically founded. Because Clanton Street, now known as Clanton 14, only accepted and recruited Mexicans, 18th Street was founded. The 18th Street Gang was founded by young people from non-Mexican and mixed race origins as a result of Clanton Street's selective membership policy. The name of the gang, 18th Street, was chosen because many of its founders resided on or close to that street. As one of the biggest gangs in Los Angeles, 18th Street has extended to many different cities. The influence of 18th Street has spread beyond Los Angeles to towns and cities across the U.S. Around 200 18th Street affiliated cliques operate in Southern California. In fact, the gang runs internationally. Immigration regulations in the U.S. may have contributed to 18th Street's international expansion, as gang members now help people secretly migrate across borders. Because of its presence in so many countries and its global illegal operations, 18th Street as a whole might be regarded as a transnational gang. Reports of 18th Street outside of the U.S. have come from Canada, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Lebanon, Mexico, Peru, and Spain. When 18th Street was founded in the 1960s, it was a group of rowdy outsiders. Now, they play it smart. Despite being predominantly Latino, 18th Street has defied gang history by welcoming recruits of all colors from numerous working class districts in a deliberate attempt to increase its membership. Its main target for recruitment? Immigrant youth. Now, let's take a look at their inner workings. Homes are broken into and cars are stolen. Every day, on average, an 18th Streeter assaults or robs someone in Los Angeles County. Since 1990, the gang has committed more than 100 homicides in Los Angeles, a rate that is three times higher than that of several of the most active gangs in the area. According to the police, 18th Street has close ties to the Mexican Mafia prison gang, and has grown to be so powerful in the drug trade that it now conducts business directly with the Mexican and Colombian cartels. Older gang members, known as veteranos, serve as the primary nerve system of the organization. They manage a loose network of cliques whose members have a strong sense of allegiance to the gang's goals and ideals. The veteranos exchange weapons, plan plans, identify opponents, and discuss police matters in secret meetings. A Santa Ana gang recruiter claims to search middle schools for children between the ages of 11 and 13 who seem to be on the periphery of gang activity. Then, he retreats after confronting them and making them terrified. The next time around, he adopts a more soft stance, leading his shaky targets to mistakenly feel that he is now their ally and protector. He promises action and excitement as a member of the biggest street gang in the area as their resistance begins to crumble. Which 11 to 13 year old child is charmed by drugs, guns, and women? Sickening, to say the least. Next, let's talk about the lives ripped apart by 18th Street. When Little Rusty and his graffiti crew were attracted to 18th Street, he was a strong middle school student in the Fairfax neighborhood. He soon began peddling the gang's crack cocaine around the Pico Union area's curbs. Imagine, he'd become an addict by the age of 14. What's sad is, there are so many kids like him. Like a four-year-old known as Baby Midget at a Huntington Park Recreation Center. This child with a shaved head is learning to flash the gang's E symbol at a young age when other kids are learning the ABCs in preschool. When he asked about his hometown, he'd say, Southside 18th Street. Mother of Baby Midget, Speedy, 
A 21-year-old 18th Street member sees nothing seriously wrong with any of this. An incredibly sad story of brainwashed kids. And you'll find so many more similar to these, it's just heartbreaking. So, is there no way out? Usually gang members have no say in either joining or leaving such street gangs. According to reports, when a gang member named Benjamin requested permission to leave, he was afraid that the Barrio 18 would kill him. He'd been a member of the gang for 10 years and was 21 years old. In fact, he was willing to die to escape. That's how exhausted he was with all the fights, murders, and illicit activities. To his surprise, they let him. He was prohibited from doing anything to hurt the gang, such as snitching, and had to check in frequently. But not everyone has been this lucky. Let's take a look at these three accounts of people who attempted to break away from their gangs. None of them knew each other, and all four of them were younger than 22. One left MS-13 without notice. She had a child, changed her identity, and relocated across the country. The group located her, and she's currently doing illegal favors to save both her own and her child's lives. Another, a young man who also left MS-13 without permission, withdrew from everyone because he was so ashamed of his history. The third guy also left without permission from Barrio 18, worked at a network of thrift shops, and regularly attended church before being assassinated in the middle of a market by unknown assailants. That was the gang taking revenge for him leaving. So how are people taken into Barrio 18? People who want to join the 18th Street Gang must either undergo an 18-second beating or engage in an illegal activity that has been approved by an existing member. The gang is still primarily made up of men, and women can join in one of three ways. By getting beaten for 18 seconds, engaging in sexual activity with several members, or becoming the girlfriend or wife of a member. Veteranos, or gang veterans, make up the core system of the gang. Cliques are the semi-autonomous cells that make up 18th Street. There's a hierarchy within the cliques, but the estimated tens of thousands of members across North and Central America do not have a military-style top-to-bottom chain of command. They called the man at the top of the chain Puppet. It's said that Francisco Puppet Martinez was a member of the Mexican Mafia, and he was alleged to have been operating for Barrio 18 from a federal jail while doing time for immigration infractions in the late 1990s. In 2002, Martinez was found guilty of racketeering, murder, and other offenses with the assistance of the FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office. 